Breaking news out of the NFL where the Houston Texans have fired head coach David Culley after just one season. That is according to our Josina Anderson. Houston went 4-13 and in their lone season under Culley, winning just one of their final eight games. That came in the Week 18 finale. They also ranked in the bottom five in both points and yards per game. Culley, the seventh NFL coach to be fired this season. As you take a look at the head coaching changes so far, John Gruden, of course, led the way. Then Urban Meyer fired by Jacksonville. And then you had the slew of firings that have come since the completion of the season. Vic Fangio fired on Saturday night. And then Mike Zimmer, Matt Nagy, Brian Flores, all fired on Monday with Joe Judge coming yesterday, or pardon me, Tuesday, and David Culley coming today. For more on this, let's bring in our Jonathan Jones, our NFL insider. Uh, JJ, you were on here just a couple hours ago talking about the possibility that this could happen. Now it has come to pass as the Texans have moved on from David Culley after just one season. Yeah, not at all surprised. We were on here less than two hours ago saying that the word was he was not at all safe in Houston. That general manager Nick Casario now going into his second season uh, with the, the Houston Texans organization after being hired last cycle. You know, David Culley was never their guy. He was always uh, going to be a bridge coach. Uh, there's a report out there that, that they gave him a five-year contract. Only two of those years were guaranteed. I've been texting around with sources around the league uh, throughout this morning, and they understood that David Culley was on thin ice, um, that he knew going into this job that no matter what sort of job that he did in year one, it was going to be difficult and that there's an occupational hazard uh, with that organization right now that he could be done after a year. Let's not forget, this was a, a joke of a franchise uh, a year ago. Uh, and uh, Cal McNair, who took over for his father, um, was not running the operation very well and was listening to Jack Easterby, who a number of folks could question whether uh, or why he had so much power within an organization. And Nick Casario came in to steer the ship in the right direction. And right now we're talking about a 4-13 and Texans team that, frankly, it was a team going into week one that I thought might tie one of their 17 games. And that was about it. Um, it was a, a roster devoid of talent. And that David Culley was able to squeeze four wins out of this team, that he was able to keep them competitive in a few more. I thought that he did a fantastic coaching job. I thought that he exceeded expectations. Then when you put on top of it the circus that the Texans had to deal with with Deshaun Watson week in, week out for the preseason and then through the trade deadline, um, it's a shame that this end has happened with David Culley. However, I think that he understood that this was a possibility when he signed the contract. Uh, and like I said, the last couple of days has not been safe there in Houston. JJ, would you say that this is more of a, a that this is a statement against Cully or more of a look at what's out there on the market right now in terms of coaches that are looking for work. And it's just, there's just too much quality, too much experience in the head coaching ranks out there right now for the Texans to resist. I'll tell you, I had one league personnel person text me um, shortly after Brian Flores was surprisingly fired on Monday saying, don't be surprised if in next week, Brian Flores is the head coach of the Houston Texans. So there may be something to that, Jeremy, that, um, hey, there are a lot of quality coaches out there. We don't want to miss our opportunity, our shot at one of those guys. I mentioned Nick Casario, a longtime front office member with the New England Patriots. Well, uh, who's going to be out there and available? Obviously, Brian Flores, but also Josh McDaniels, his longtime buddy, offensive coordinator of the New England Patriots, who he's preparing, of course, for the Buffalo Bills right now and their weekend matchup. But those are two names that I would keep a close, close eye on there in Houston. I don't think that this should be a commentary about David Culley. Again, exceeded expectations. When you look at where Vegas had the Houston Texans, they had him around four wins, but that was still with the possibility that maybe Deshaun Watson will play. That was the possibility that maybe Tyrod Taylor will play all 17 games. If you had told um, the, the odds makers that, hey, this is going to be a Texans team that gets Tyrod Taylor for – maybe half the season and is trotting Davis Mills out there, I think that number comes down a whole lot. Um, when you looked at this team being one of the oldest rosters going into week one, when they had no business being old, this should have been a rebuilding team, a younger team, a team that, hey, let's see what we got out there with the younger guys uh, when they cut Zach Cunningham, for example. It wasn't like they needed the money. There's been a lot of curious decisions down in Houston. But this decision, uh, while curious a little bit when you consider how much David Culley got out of a, a bad roster, 
again, not altogether surprising considering how things have gone there the last 18 or so months. And of course, there's a lot of issues with team with this team, as you mentioned. I mean, we didn't even mention the Deshaun Watson situation and that that still has yet to be sorted out. So when you look at this job now that's open on the market and we've talked about the rankings of head coaching jobs, what's the most attractive, what's the least attractive, where does the Houston Texans job fall on that list? Well, I mean, if you believe in uh, the direction of the franchise, then sure, it's a, it's a good enough job because it's in the AFC South. That's a winnable division. Um, and so do you have a quarterback? What's the resolution with Deshaun Watson? You know, if Brian Flores, who's a guy that reportedly Deshaun Watson had a strong affinity for, wanted to go play for him with the Miami Dolphins, if he winds up with this job, does Deshaun Watson decide, hey, a year off, uh, they paid me during that year off. Maybe he sticks around. If he doesn't, um, and it's difficult to tell right now which way the wind's necessarily blowing on that, but if he doesn't, well, you're going to get a haul uh, in return for him in terms of draft picks, and so you're going to be able to build this roster uh, in the image that you and Nick Casario uh, decide on moving forward. Of course, this is going to be someone that Casario... Uh, is, is comfortable with. And I should remind you that Casario was also in the ear of David Kelly. This is a very uh, peculiar thing. doesn't happen very often, but Casario was in the ear of the head coach during games at times. So he is heavily involved in game planning and scheming throughout. So uh, obviously he's going to be heavily involved in what happens here. And his guy is going to be his guy in terms of the head coach. And I think that's why all the focus is going to be on anyone uh, who has a New England tie. Yeah, and you just wonder how many coaches on that that list of coaches that are out there are going to appreciate having Casario in their ear uh, during games, given the coaching experience that they have. Uh, senior NFL insider Jonathan Jones joining us to talk about the firing of the Houston Texans. They are looking for a new head coach. David Culley is out. Thanks, JJ. Wild Card Weekend, Super Wild Card Weekend gets underway Saturday on CBS with the Bills taking on the New England Patriots. That the, that's the sixth seed against the three seed. The Patriots taking on the Bills. And the 49ers at Cowboys come Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. Both of those games available on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. We're going to take a quick break. On the other side, our Josina Anderson will join us to talk about the Houston Texans moving on from head coach David Culley after a 4-13 season. Stay with us. We'll be right back.